before we came on air. So I'm, I'm, what is it, 10 past four now? So maybe three minutes to four. Um, let's keep you more up to date because just before we came on air, Connor Ben has actually spoken to Matchroom Boxing. There was an open workout. That's where the conversation took place. Um, he said he's a clean athlete. Have a listen. Only to you guys hear it from me personally rather than reading it in a statement from me and my team. I've not committed any violations. I've not been suspended. So as far as I'm concerned, the fight is still going ahead. Uh, I've spoken to Chris personally, and we both want the fight to go ahead. We've both taken medical and legal advice, and as I said, we want the fight to happen for the fans. You know, I've signed up to every voluntary anti-doping testing there is under the sun. Throughout my whole career, I'm tested. Um, you know, all my UK tests have come back negative throughout my whole career. I've never had any issues before. Even in the lead up to this fight, my tests have come up negative. Um, you know, so my team will find out as to why there's been an initial adverse finding in my in my test. Um, but as I said, um, as far as I'm concerned, the fight is still going ahead. Um, I'm a clean athlete and we'll get to the bottom of this. So I just want to thank everyone for their continued support and um, I'll see you all on Saturday. Um, and, you know, it's not who I am, it's not what I'm about. Right, that gets us right up to date with every, any, everything and anything. Let's say hello, proper hello, to uh, our European super bantamweight champion of the world, Spencer <laughs> Oliver is with us, and Darren Ben. Um, Spencer, let me come to you first, OK? There's so many questions I've got. I suppose I have to start with the obvious one. What's your view on where we're at now with this fight? We'll talk about what it does and what it means for boxing a bit later on. Sure. But where we currently are with this fight, and you've just heard from Conor Ben there saying, you know, he thinks it's definitely on, he's not committed any violations. Yeah. What's your initial view of where we currently are with this fight? Well, I think the Boxing Board of Control have, have released a statement saying that they, um, they are now not sanctioning this fight. The fight is off. That means that Eddie Hearn, Matchroom Boxing, um, have to find another sanctioning body to put this fight on. That could be Luxembourg, sanctioning body. The Luxembourg is the one that Derek just ordered David Hay boxed under when mm, yeah. Derek was banned by the British Boxing Board of Control for whatever he'd done to Klitschko or whatever. Anyway, so yeah, as we stand at the moment, the fight's off because there's no sanctioning body. So Eddie Hearn has to find a different sanctioning body. Where do, what, what is my thoughts on this whole situation with Connor? Ben, I'm surprised. I'm really surprised, actually. I've known Connor for a long time, and the last thing that I think he would do is take drugs. That's first and foremost. So I'm very surprised that they did find this um, substance in his system. Um, UCAD is the official um, drug tester for the British Boxing Board and for this fight, and Varda is the one that, that found traces of this substance in his thing. But Varda is only the voluntary one, and Varda is, that got leaked somewhere. So I don't really understand too much about it. All I know is UCAD were happy with all the testing up until this point. But Varda, the ones that found this traces of this banned substance, this fertility, the women's mm. fertility drug mm. in his system, um, are not the ones that are sort of like the main drug testers for this. But the Boxing Board of Control mm. have said we're not happy. We've pulled the plug on this because obviously they don't want to be associated with anyone taking any sort of banned substances. So look, I don't really know where we're at with it at the moment. I'm really surprised, first and foremost, that, you know, Connor's been found to have this substance in his system. I know that him and Chris Eubank Jr. have spoke. They want the fight to go ahead. Matram want the fight to go ahead. Of course they do. There's a lot of money on the mm. line. But first and foremost, we've got to think about the hell for fighters as well. Uh, one quick, I know Ben, he's got loads of questions. One quick one. You mentioned Varda found traces and you can haven't. Yes. Right? Did they have the same sample or are they two separate samples they tested? Right, they're two separate samples that they tested. So Varda is the one that found traces. Now, I don't know why this hasn't come out, but apparently Varda, Varda found the traces. These tests were taken back in August. The end of August sometime. UCAD, which is the, which is the drug tester for this fight has been testing Conor Ben all the way through this and all the, all the, all, they've all come back negative. Every single uh, test has come back negative. But VADA, which is the voluntary testing that goes around, just randomly knocks on people's doors, etc., has found traces of this banned substance that goes back to August. So why have we not seen the B sample? Because they mm -hmm. take an A sample and they take a just, B just, sample. Just explain to people the A and the B. Right, so the A and the B, is, it's quite simple. Right? When you get tested, when you get drug tested, I don't know what it's like when you're playing football, Darren, but when, random, you get drug, random. when you get random tested, yeah, they take two um, urine samples from the same from the same so, so, time. So it's one urine sample and they pour it into two... Absolutely. Okay. They pour it into an A sample and a B sample, yeah? Okay. So the A sample has come back uh, positive, right? So 
they're saying, but we haven't tested the B sample yet. Well, what do you mean you haven't tested the B sample? It's quite quite simple. Why is the B sample, why has that not come to light yet? I don't ever understand this. I, I've, I've known many a situation like this as well through boxing where the A sample comes back positive and they go, oh, we've got to test the B sample, but the B sample never seems to arise. Well, yeah. where is that? Let's find out what the B sample says. But um, we haven't heard anything about that yet. Um, yeah. Look, I, I think it's a real shame because it's a fight that everybody's been looking forward to. You know, it's a, it's a historic fight that goes back with their dads that go back. A feud that's been going over 30 years. And we knew that all these things were put into place to make this fight more level. Because Chris Eubank is a middleweight and Conor Ben is a welterweight, the size difference is massive. So on that, they, they've agreed to fight at 157, a weight that Chris Eubank hasn't made since he was... So hasn't made since he's 18 years of age. He normally fights at 160 pounds. So three pounds of people saying, that's not a lot, losing an extra three pounds. Well, it is when you're tight. It's like really tough. I mean, Mm. it is like losing three stones to the normal human being. It's that tough because it's just water that you're taking out. No body fat left at all. So it's very, very difficult. And that can become dangerous. So you're going, well, if he's been found to take performance-enhancing drugs and he's being made to strip down to a weight that he hasn't... but that's 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 dangerous man that, that that's really worrying